Hi everyone, um, I wanted to pop on and just do a quick tutorial on uh, recovering some files using the command prompt when your hard drive is failing. I've had this computer for about eight years now and, and the hard drive is starting to fail. It won't load, um, go beyond the uh, loading screen at the, uh, when you turn on the computer. I can't access Windows. I've tried doing a system restore. Um, I've tried doing um, all of the repair features and functions that I can access, nothing's working. But there is a way to recover your files um, if you can access the command prompt. So I'm going to show you how to do that fairly simply today. What you're going to need is a thumbnail drive. I've got one plugged in here, um, as you can see. Um, there's one plugged into the back of the computer as well. Um, you're going to need to make sure you got enough memory on your thumbnails or, or your external hard drives that you plug in to do this um, adequately. So what you're going to do is turn on the computer. Now this is a Toshiba computer, but most computers will be will have a, a, a way of accessing the command prompt. You just need to look up what you do for your computer. But this is a Toshiba. So I'm going to turn the computer on. And you have to be ready with your finger on the F12 button. Because as soon as you start to see this loading screen, you need to hit your F12 button right now. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this boot menu. We're going to go down to uh, the HDD recovery feature. Hit yes. And then the computer hopefully is going to boot up here um, at least enough to get into the hard drive recovery um, features. So just give that a second. Make sure your thumbnails are plugged in in advance too of turning on the computer. So hopefully this computer isn't totally pooched here so that I can do this tutorial. Give it a second and there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go through these. So English, US, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to troubleshoot. There's a whole bunch of features in there. Also, just as a warning, if your data is very, very important and it and you need to preserve it, get a professional to do it for you because mucking around with stuff like this can, uh, can be um, a little dicey at times, particularly if your hard drive is really failing pretty hard. Mine appears to be in the very early stages. So um, I've got a little bit of time here. Um, and I'm pretty confident around computers most of the time, so uh, I'm going to take the risk. But uh, don't do that if you don't uh, if you don't feel comfortable. Um, so troubleshoot, and then it's going to bring up uh, this screen, and you want to go to advanced options or wherever you are in your computer to find this, the command prompt. And that's going to bring up this guy here, um, and this is the uh, this is like using DOS back in the day. Um, uh, back when I was a kid, you had to, uh, you know, um, command the computer to run f executable files and those types of things. You couldn't just click on things. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So first of all, what we need to know is where we want to copy our files to. And we do that by running a simple command. You can find out what drives are on your computer. So the first thing we need to do is go to the C drive because the C drive is where all that, that, that's your hard drive. That's where all your files are going to be um, in any event. And then a simple com uh, command, WMIC, logical disk, all one word, get name. And those are all the drives that are on the computer. So you can see I got a C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and an X drive. That doesn't really help us too much. We need to know what that thumbnail drive that we want to copy to is, wh which one of those drives. So another command you can use is WMIC, logical disk, list brief and it's going to bring up a few more details so there you can see you know the simplest way to to um, identify what you what drive you need is uh, by looking at um, uh, the name if it has one so you can see I've got a Lexar uh, drive there that is the thumbnail that I've got um, plugged into the back of the computer and you can see here the number that corresponds is the amount of memory that's on there. So that's a 256 gigabyte thumbnail drive. So there you can see 256 gigabytes of storage storage space. I don't want to use that one. I want to actually use my 16 gigabyte uh, thumbnail for this particular file. And so there I can see, even though there's no name, I can see that there's about 16 gigabytes of space on that drive. And that's the J drive. So that's where we're going to be copying files to today. So that's all fine and dandy. Now what we're going to do is we are going to move back to this X drive, um, which um, gives you the Windows and system. We want to clear that off, and we do that by hitting uh, the change directory, cd.dot, and that'll get you a clear X drive. 
there's other commands you can use, but the, that's the one that I uh, I learned when I was about eight years old. So from there, um, you need to change the directory. So cd sources. That's going to give you this sources directory. Then what you're going to do is type this command, x copy. Then you're going to use quotation mark. And the reason why you're doing that is because back in the... Uh, oh, you know what? Before we do all this, we need to, we need to, I almost forgot, we need to find the file we're going to copy so that we have the name. So let's do that first. So let's go back to the C drive. And you need to, uh, you need to know where you're looking. Now, I need a file from my desktop. So that's usually an easy one. Um, with the Windows, you're going to need a user, uh, the username, and the desktop. But you can find all that stuff out by punching in DIR, and that's going to bring up a whole bunch of directories for you. I need users. So there's my user uh, directory. Now you might be attached to something else, program files. It could be in any of those uh, potential folders you're looking for, but I need something from my Nick user profile. So I'm going to change the directory now to users. I just use the name that I want. You can do it for any of those names and hit enter. Now I can do that DIR directory code again and look at that. There's my name, Nick. That's the user I want. So I go change directory CD Nick. And then I can do a directory command again. And look at that. There's all of the folders that are on my desktop. Um, or all the folders, sorry, that are on under the Nick user profile. I want desktop. So again, CD desktop and a directory. And those are all of my desktop files. So there are all the names that I'm looking for. Now, what I need to get off of here is this photos folder. Now, if you were just looking for a specific photo or something like that, then of course you could change the directory to photo, um, uh, sorry, photos, and then do a directory command and all of those photo names, the JPEGs and that type of thing would come up. We don't need to do that. I need to copy that whole folder. So now that I know where it is, it's under users, Nick, desktop, and photos is the entire folder that I want to copy. I don't want that. Shrink this back down a bit so that it's in the view of the camera. So I want uh, users, Nick, desktop, photos. That's the file I'm going to be copying. So we're going to go back to that X drive. We're going to go CD sources. And then we're going to give this command. X copy quotation mark. And the reason why we're doing a quotation mark um, is because back in the old days, uh, you couldn't have spaces uh, under your directory or folder names. So this just tells the computer to um, copy exactly what I'm typing because um, it's not going to, the command prompt won't recognize spaces on its own without this, uh, without the quotation marks. So C and then uh, backslash, and then you just type in exactly as it is up here. Uh, capital letters don't matter, so don't have to worry about that. Um, if you do get an error, try typing with capitals, but it shouldn't matter. So there it is, users, Nick, desktop, and I want the photos folder. Okay, and then give it one more backslash and then an asterisk, and then close that up. Then what you're going to do is tell the computer what drive you want it to go to. And so you remember um, when we uh, started, at least I think I remember, we were going to have to copy to the J drive. That's, uh, that's where my um, the thumbnail that I wanted to use was held. And I do a forward slash. And then, um, or a backslash, sorry, and then forward slash S, forward slash I. And that's going to tell the computer to copy that whole folder. And I press enter and hopefully this will work. And there you go. The computer is copying all of the files within that folder to my J drive thumbstick USB. It'll take a little bit of time, but it doesn't take nearly as much time as it does to copy files by moving icons around through Windows. The command prompt is actually a really efficient way of copying files. And if you're backing up files, if you, you can use the command prompt from uh, Windows by uh, running a CMD um, in your, in your um, search bar. There's tutorials on, the, on YouTube about how to do that. But you can actually back up your files very quickly this way. It's much quicker to do it this way than it is using, um, using Windows and moving from 
one USB to another. And so once the, these folders, the, this entire folder is backed up here, you can see that it's doing videos, it's doing folders, whatever's in that uh, directory. Then you're going to have um, all your files stored. And there it is. 188 files copied and it'll be on that thumbnail drive now and uh, you can sleep easy at night knowing that you've uh, recovered your files using the command prompt. Take care. Hope this helps um, provide you with some peace.